It's Hugh. Hi, Hugh. Hello, Hugh. Yes, good afternoon. Hello, welcome to Sports Day with me, Hugh Ferris, and Carthy Nanasegra. The headlines this evening. Hello, lots to come, but we'll start with the Premier League. Eight games, 35 goals, a host of late drama. It delivered again today, and it also has new leaders. Manchester United topped the table after another slip-up by their neighbours City, who lost 4-1 at Spurs. With all the extraordinary unpredictability of the series so far, it's strange to be able to say anything with any sort of certainty. But one thing you can say for almost definite is that this is the day that these England players regain the ashes. Victoria, it's incredible to think that just five years ago that no British rider had actually won the Tour de France, but three wins in four years means we're probably starting to take it a little bit for granted, which might be behind some of those comments that you had there. Chris Froome came down the Champs-Élysées yesterday, decked in yellow. Frank Lampard, ladies and gentlemen. When your career started, you were Frank Lampard Jr. Now your dad's Frank Lampard Sr. Does that tell you a little bit about how much you've achieved in the game in this country? Uh, yes, maybe. This is their final approach into the velodrome. Their paraphernalia has been parked, their accreditation has been checked. Now they need to tackle what is a very long and very tiring ramp. Pretty brutal at Twickenham, pretty brutal for Chelsea as well in the Premier League. They have now lost five games already this season in the league, the latest defeat in a London derby to West Ham, who themselves go second in the table. Our football reporter John Bennett is here to talk about that Premier League action today. John, we'll start at Upton Park. Another bad day for Jose Mourinho. It's closer to £10 million, I think, uh, he got for this fight, and uh, about £8 million more than George Groves got, which is ironic because there's £8 million difference, and in the eighth round, uh, that happened. The best punch of his life, Carl Froch said he ended it all for uh, George Groves. Much hype echoed by the hook. <laughs> so this is the track centre. Everything goes on down here. You will be able to watch not only some elite level Paralympic track cycling, but also all the emotions that go into it and all the mechanical preparations as well. It all happens down here in track centre. You can keep up to date with all those stories on the BBC Sport website. That is, of course, bbc.co.uk slash sport. We'll have more for you here in the next hour. Hugh, too many Hughes. Thanks very much. <laughs> we'll see you a little later on. <laughs>